was the first question? Hundred bucks, yeah. One time, he said he did. He did. Can can you hear me? Can you hear me? Testing. Okay, so I am at the airport in Atlanta and I'm leaving. For good. Are you excited? I'm excited. Whatever. Um kidding, kidding, not whatever. But no, yeah, it's um it's like 5 a.m. right now. I'm sitting at the airport. Ooh, and they just announced that they're about to start boarding. So, um, this is just a brief little intro to what's about to happen today. Um, I'm about to go on the plane, fly to my new city, which I will show you when I get there. And we start a new chapter. So I know this is like a very impromptu way of starting a vlog since it's been like two years. It's literally been like two years. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, y'all, so I'm wearing this dress. The dress is like, it's really cute, but like, it's like a shirt dress. And I'm wearing um, my book bag with my laptop and stuff. And so like, as I'm walking and I'm filming, I like, I'm like, wait, is my dress riding up? And I look down to the right and like my dress is under my book bag. So I'm like, oh my gosh, like, Oh my gosh so like i'm like oh my gosh no somebody probably saw my butt and then there was this man behind me and he was like i mean somebody might have and i was just like ah, that's gross because why why uh It's my fault. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have done the book bag and dress thing. It's just kind of one or the other. Poor choices on my part, but it's fine. It's fine. A little a little um airport peep show, it's fine. Never hurt anybody, I guess. Um Except for me, because that was gross on his part. But it's cool. So.
Okay, so I am at my new property. <sighs> Not makeup tinting my nail brown. Anyways, I'm at my new property and first thoughts, I love it. I love it. Like, oh my gosh. Like, oh my gosh. I... I like I'm just in the lobby right now and I love it. It's very swanky posh. Like it reminds me of um of um try not to to have have um people unknowing people in my video. Um yeah, I um it reminds me of the Hotel Indigo. I really like those, so now I'm just waiting to get access to my unit and so yeah I don't know I'm like like there's it's like a lot of emotions right now because this is a big move and it's like my dream place and I'm here, like in person. Like, you know, you meditate on things, you set your intentions, and and then like when you actually realize it, like you're actually living in it, it's 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 surreal. Okay. Oh. Oh, I thought that was makeup on my collar. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, so oh well, my nose itches. Okay, so I did a thing. I moved. Yes, I am no longer in Georgia. I've left. No more Atlanta antics for me, at least not for the time being. I have relocated to Texas. Hey, Texas. Hey, Texas. Hey, hey. Dallas, maybe a Houston here and there, you know, but no, I'm, I'm now in Dallas, Texas, um, and I have moved into my dream apartment. It's an absolute dream. I'm, I'm like, like, okay, so first, a little bit of background. I, I didn't, um, I didn't see this unit in person before I moved in. I didn't see this in person. I um, I did everything online. I did everything online. Like finding the unit, I actually found it, found the property on YouTube. So I found the property on YouTube, um, did a virtual tour, did the leasing, everything, everything virtually, okay? Everything. And I am over the moon about like what I got. I feel like it all comes down to me really knowing my taste and like knowing like, okay, like I'm really gonna like that or I'm really not. And it worked out. So here we are. And um, and uh, yeah, so let's, let's take a look. We're gonna do a tour of my new high-rise luxury apartment so let's get into it okay so this is what you see when you first walk in this is what you see so this is by the door a cabinet and ooh, this is like for shoes or maybe purses i would put purses up here and then coats here and then shoes down there yeah i would want shoes down there i wouldn't want anybody's shoes all the way up there um so then we have this coat closet let me let me lock the door because it's a beautiful place and all but can never be too safe so this is the closet by the door by the front door nice little coat closet 
Okay. And then I have this beautiful area. I'm trying to back up and get everything. It's really beautiful. It's my stuff over there, some things that I brought. So um, while I'm showing you the kitchen area, I got like a U-box, a U-box to ship all of my stuff, but it's, it's now not coming in for another week. So here we are, but it's okay. Like it, it gives me a chance to really clean how I want to clean, you know, really feel the space out and um, understand like what I wanna do, like how I wanna dress this up and make it my own. So, oh, love this. So this is the trash. I just put the trash in there. So it's not all out and in people's faces. And these are like the no slam, the no slam um, cabinets and drawers, look. Ooh, let's try this one. Slam. Ooh, she said no. She said I'm not like that. All right, what about you? Ooh, she said no. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Ah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, all right. Um, so here we have our whirlpool. Um, refrigerator I'm so happy so happy to have you so happy to have you I can stop buying a million bottles of water so happy let's let's see what the inside looks like Oop, okay ice maker I'm sorry it's doing your thing um, mm -hmm. she's good I'm not I'm not even big on a whole bunch of groceries like that Ooh, refrigerator, very good. I like this, I like this. You know, I feel like I'm not the biggest chef in the world, like my needs are minimal. And I think that does more than enough. Ooh, I'm gonna need a stepping stool cause I'm not a tall girl. I really like these dark cabinets. So here's the microwave, this beautiful, Yes, Whirlpool appliances, this beautiful gas stove. Oh, it just, it just, it just looks like cook. Come on, cook, cook. Use something, do, do something, use me. And I will, I will, friend. Maybe not all the time, maybe not even often, but I will use you. Can I zoom out? Ooh, no. Okay, guys, like, don't hate me for being zoomed in like this. But when I'm zoomed out, you can see, like, the stand, and that's not the look. So, that's the other side of the kitchen. And then, I feel like I didn't get a good... A good view of the sink. Look at this nice deep sink. I really can't wait to dress this area up. I feel like she has a lot of potential. Oh, it does this spray setting. Ooh. All right, cute. Not really sure how I feel yet about panning that because I just don't want crazies like being like, oh, I know where that is. I know how to find her. Like, please don't, please don't come find me. So we have these beautiful floor to ceiling windows in the bedroom. This is the bedroom. I got a one bedroom, one bedroom, by the way, um, one bath. This is the ceiling fan. Let me try. Oops. Oh. There we go. Okay. 
And this, the bathroom, the bathroom guys, this is what sold me. I have to take my shoes off before I go in my bathroom. This is what sold me on this unit. Like, hey girl. Ooh, not us a little oily. Just the inches. My hair is grown. Oh. Okay. So, this bathroom has the two sinks. A little his and hers action. These beautiful, huge mirrors. And look at the lights. Look at the lights. It has the hanging lights. But it also has the in the ceiling lights. I think the placement of the toilet is great. Right? We have some privacy, you know. A little throne. Mm, some more storage. This is, this is the storage underneath the sinks. Really trying to pan this as best I can. Mm. And then let's look, let's look, oh, I need to turn the light on in there. Okay. Let's look at the bathtub in the shower. Look. Okay, I'm gonna step in here. It smells like bleach. It's a great sign. So that's the shower head. Um, the one that you can like, you know, move around. And then here's the one in the ceiling. We love it. Then we have this really big bathtub and then some more little storage. Oh, from the inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's pull the door closed and see. Oh, what a view. Oh, and it doesn't close all the way. So the smoke can get out. Your steam, the steam can get out, not smoke. Crazy girl. And last, okay, not last. We have the closet. Ooh, what's that? Did it? Motion sensor? I know you lying. I could be crazy. And my sleeve may have hit it. So there's the light. We have front loading, front loading whirlpool washer and dryer. Yes, yes. And the alpha, the alpha shelving. We can add, um, add shelves, take away shelves. We have different types of shelves. Also, think it's really cool that this property is um, they're open to to um, the use of, um, uh, what's it called? The, um, Ikea packs. I will show you guys the view. I will show you guys the view. So, this is last. This is last. This is the living area. We're gonna go out to the balcony. So let's hit the balcony. Nothing but city girls. Nothing but city girls. Oh my gosh. We're pretty high up. I won't say how high, but <laughs> we're pretty high up. Okay. So. Welcome back. To, uh, my new channel so I guess maybe it's welcome for the first time or well welcome hi hello greetings salutations hey y'all yeah okay so if you ugh, 
I don't like that sound. Okay, so if you know me or you follow me like Instagram type socials, you know I had a channel two years ago. I was, I was doing the whole YouTube vloggy thing two years ago. And so I'm pretty sure like it's weird. Maybe it seems weird that I'm just like jumping back in two years later. And I can say it is, it, it is really weird. But it's weird because when I was doing it, the whole thing of like, and maybe it's me, maybe I just wasn't following the right people or I didn't have the right influences. My algorithms just weren't showing me the people who were creating the type of, who were creating the type of content that I was, but like at that time it just seemed like me doing hour-long videos like nobody wanted to watch an hour-long youtube video that's the way it seemed and that's the way it felt at the time and like that was hard because if you know me i'm a talker i'm <laughs> i talk and i do things i talk and i do things that is the essence i guess of a vlog and so it just wasn't, it wasn't a good feeling to like be doing the work, even though I genuinely do enjoy editing and making these videos. I really did have a lot of fun with it, but it was like, okay, well like this is getting kind of tired because like all I hear is like bad things about me doing these hour long videos and like, I, like, it gets tiring especially when you have like a whole life you have you literally have a whole life that you're living and just the added negativity like it's just not it's just like nobody wants to deal with that but i don't know if it's a new day or me just seeing youtube different isn't you know being able to see um youtubers who are doing the hour who are doing the hour long videos and hour plus and i love it i'm i'm not just like doing videos just to watch my own like i i don't own a tv i sit in this chair this very chair and i watch youtube videos for hours because i just just like watching YouTube videos. So anyways, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. I'm, we're back. And um, here we are. I'm back in Dallas. I left Dallas um, when I was here two years ago. I was just here for about like seven months, left. Went back to Alabama for school. Then, you know, the global event that shall not be named occurred and so I actually like in the midst of taking classes online I moved back home um, moved back home to the Atlanta area and stayed there for a year or almost a year moving back home was definitely like a reality check it was definitely a reality check because it's like well one home is in like the city it just didn't feel like the place i grew up and that was disappointing that that was just hard and that's just a whole different topic for a whole different video maybe like a chit chat or something but that was hard um living at home after living on my own for, for like six years you know let's discuss that in the comments comment down below if you moved back home after living on your own and like was it was it good was it bad like did you like it did you stay? Did you leave? Would you do it again? Like, let's let's talk about this because 
I had the hardest time. I had the hardest time and I love my family. I love them. I love my family. They were so sweet, so loving, so accepting and accommodating. Like I I owe them the world just for just just loving me the way they do, but gosh. <laughs> like like really just not living in your own like that that i i can't i can't okay can't so i did that and then um a month ago actually 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 today makes one month since i've moved into my apartment now the box the box that are the, the the pile of boxes that are behind this camera would probably want to tell you different but that's me and the box's business that's our business okay we'll get to that later okay we'll get to that later for now for now we're excited we're excited because we're one month in um literally dream job dream apartment i like dream area everything is just like surreal right now so before i started filming this i was actually about to go and get this um it's like this mexican mango dessert I love it. I love it. I really need to figure out how to say the name of it, but I love it. So that's actually where I'm about to go now. So yeah, that was just like a little prelude to girl, where did you go? What brought you back? Where are we at with it now? You know? So well, let's get to moving and shaking. So Q Drake's summer's over interlude because it's cold. Okay, it's not cold. It's like 70 degrees. But if you're Southern, it's cold. It's real cold. So I'm just like, brr, it's cold to hear. <laughs> But I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm in like, I'm in this real cool like hip type area. <laughs> I have a really firm grip on my phone. Technically I'm not holding my phone, it's more like um, it's more like a, like a tripod that helps me hold my phone. Okay, I'm just gonna stop talking. <laughs> I let you guys walk with me. It's never over until life ends. Lay down beside me, do it again. It's never over until life ends. Lay down beside
this. I hope you can hear me because there's like live music all over the place. Oh, love it here. But I am outside of Piccole. I'm outside of Piccole. And um, let's see what this mango nada is hidden for. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Ooh, I'm excited. That's what I am. Oh my gosh. Mango margarita. Oh, ooh, the cookies and cream look so good. Okay, look, I'm not, I'm not gonna play with you. I came here on a mission. Do you have the mango nada? I will cry. Yeah. It's just, it's a lot to make, isn't oh, no, it? Oh, yeah, I mean, technically I'm out of ice, so like, it's, it's doable, it's doable. I wouldn't say I'm out because, but because you really want it, it's, uh, I can just replace the ice with uh, mango instead. So it'd just Ooh. be like a really mango-y mango, mango nada. Let's do it. I love everything you just said. Just finished getting ready. I feel like it's gonna be a long day. It's Saturday. I hope I don't have my, I didn't have my finger over the, the microphone. Okay, yeah, whatever. It's Saturday and um, I'm about to go grocery shopping. Um, <laughs> I, I have myself on like this, this, um, every two week type of budget for my grocery shopping to like space it out so that I'm not going every other day and just spending way too much money on groceries and then like letting groceries go bad because like I'm buying more than I can eat. So today's grocery day. Um, I've made my list. I have my little cart. Um, that I take with me and I'm ready to go. I think besides grocery shopping today, I want to go test out mattresses. Uh, my bed should be arriving any day now. So I want to test out mattresses and I'm, I'm really debating going to the Texas State Fair today because it's the last weekend. I'm looking out the window, which is probably why I look like I'm looking away because it's just, it's just nice to catch the view. But it's the last weekend of the fair. So I haven't been this year. I haven't been since like 2019. So I kind of really want to go like just before it's gone. But because it's the last weekend, everyone's going to be there. Like I just don't, I don't like it just it just seems nightmarish the idea of it is very nightmarish like so many people like you know we still need to social distance like a good bit but we'll see we'll see how the day goes I'm kind of fiending for the fair food I'm human okay I'm human um I also need to do stuff like plan my birthday weekend um i'm now today makes one month exactly one month before my birthday but my birthday weekend i'm not celebrating until thanksgiving weekend that's when my friends will be here to celebrate with me so i'm super excited and i really want to plan out like a memorable good time for them i know like that probably sounds crazy because it's my birthday but like I feel like if they're making the trip here to see me and celebrate with me for my birthday, like the burden should be on me to make sure that they enjoy themselves. So that's what I want to do. Um, so I want to plan out the details for that and just start ordering whatever needs to be ordered uh, for the weekend. 
but um i guess let's get into this grocery trip before we go i'll show you my outfit so let's take a look so this is my outfit for today have my nice little bun that i do um this yellow sweater i i'm really not sure where i got this crop sweater from i want to say like a marshall's or a ross or something like just very very like random type of purchase or maybe it was a gift and if so i still think it was from one of those places but it's one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe um the jeans are from fashion nova and these boots are from forever 21 um i'm wearing my ring from pandora that my sister gave me she has one and my mom has one my phone case is from um amazon um i may try to just link it down below and i'm wearing valentino's voce viva fragrance it really smells like candy so if you want to you know get your candy vibe on this is it anyways so here's why i didn't go on camera so i get to the store first on the way like on the way to the grocery store some creepo guy beeped at me i don't know when people are gonna learn like beeping at a woman while she's walking by herself like that's not like i'm not gonna be like oh hey wait stop come talk to me don't just keep driving like no don't don't do that weird old creepy guys like like do you see a woman by herself like leave her alone it's it's scary enough like just leave us alone okay thanks so anyways after being creeped out by that um so i get to the store and i like go to my grocery list um i go to my grocery list and i just you know i start um i start buying the things on my list i feel like one one at what i feel like where i messed up is on the way to the store i picked up a cup of coffee just just because i was thirsty and that's like if you're thirsty like go for water not coffee especially if you're me because it heightens my anxiety bad bad like bad like and and you'll hear why in a second i mean how in a second so i get to the store i get to the store and i'm picking up things i'm getting things buying things you know the things that you do when you go grocery shopping and I am buying like two of everything. I'm buying two of everything. Exhibit A. I'm one person. Why did I get so many paper towels? This is two, four, six. This is the six, the six of the big bounty paper towels, okay? Last time I went, I just got two rolls like and and the whole thing that was going through my mind is i'm buying basically two of everything it's like oh well like who knows like when you'll be able to go to the store again like what if something happens i don't know if that's adulthood but honestly it it felt like it felt like like it felt like post not even post because we're still in it but like pandemic yeah it felt like pandemic trauma buying like like this like side effect of the whole shutdown thing like gotta buy two of everything just in case things run out and i'm not saying like i'm panic buying that's not what i'm saying i didn't go and get all the paper towels on the shelf like i did get like one thing of avocados because like i have a thing of av avocados already but i got like two things of dish soap like two things of febreze two things of orange juice honestly 
things like dish soap and orange juice i run through a lot um i've got two things of smoked salmon also something that i run through a lot like coming down off the whole coffee anxiety thing i kind of think i really just bought two of things that i know i use a lot and i don't like being at home and feeling like like i can't really enjoy the things that i have like the foods that i have because i have to be mindful of the portions because i'm gonna run out and then i have to run back to the store to get more like that feeling of having to like ration basically like i don't like that so i feel like if i buy two then i'm not rationing as much like i can enjoy if i want to put extra salmon on my avocado toast like i can and i have enough so i think like in the moment like at the store i was definitely like i was definitely having like an anxiety attack like i i was really about to start crying in the store because i felt like i was having this post-pandemic trauma buying experience but like now that i've calmed down and i'm not as emotional as i was in the store i'm like okay you bought those things because you don't want to have to ration while you're at home you want to really enjoy the things that you buy you as a me so talking through that just now actually makes me feel so much better so i guess we'll go through like a grocery haul now since i didn't um since i didn't show the grocery trip so let's do it so um i got this i can't stand when things appear backwards i got the hillshire farms roast beef and the turkey breast the the oven roasted turkey breast with uh the lower sodium I'm trying to you know be be let's be smart about these things right um also got some tomatoes i really don't leave them in the bag because i feel like they go bad faster when you leave them in the bag i like to get them on the vine too I don't know what it is about the vine, but buy my tomatoes, please. Um, then I got Haas, Haas avocados. Um, Fun fact about me, and you'll probably see it at some point, although I really don't like showing myself eating on camera, because I don't like watching other people eat on camera. It's just a, I don't like that sound. It's gross. <laughs> it's really gross and stomach turning for me, so I don't like that. Um, I got the Orville, Orville Redenbacher Popping and Topping Buttery Flavored Oil. I like just pour this. I pour it over my popcorn. It's like a buttery topping. And then here's the movie theater butter Orville Redenbacher um, popcorn. <laughs> this is the popcorn, this is the butter, boom. One thing I did forget, two things I did forget in the store are um, the cinnamon sugar type seasoning is really just cinnamon sugar but what i like to do is i like to sprinkle cinnamon sugar of my popcorn after i add the butter and then look this is a safe space okay and then i add jalapeno peppers ah ah don't get rude don't get rude don't you get rude okay it's good you just gotta give it a chance okay when i was um when i was a teenager i worked at a um an amc theater 
back home. And so, you know, working in the movie theater, you get a lot of time to just try things when it comes to popcorn. And that's exactly what I did. And I really got to figure out like some cool things, some cool ways to do your popcorn. And that was one of them. Go figure. So I haven't met anybody that tried it and didn't like it. That's all I'm saying. It, it's, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely wild, but it's really good. So I got some got to be glue. The um, this isn't like the the real whole hold like the the black bottle. I use it for like my slick styles like this. Um, but they didn't have the black bottle, so I just got the yellow. Um, cause I'm out. I'm absolutely out. I feel like that's something I should have got two of. But I was just like, let me see if like just how I like that one because if if it doesn't hold my hair then I'm just gonna go find the black one I got two of the method sweet water soaps I got two because my bathroom has I got two because my bathroom has two sinks just two sinks so like one for one side and one for the other side I feel like that makes sense. That's sensible. Also, I'm out of my Dr. Bronner's Bonner something like that soap. Um, the Castile soap, the liquid. I'm not out. I'm not out actually. I probably have have maybe a week or two worth left. But I don't like to wait until um, it's out so I went ahead I was gonna get some more but at the store it was like 10.99 I was like mm. while we are still under budget if I can av avoid it I just won't because the bottle that they sold at the store was also smaller it was smaller than the bottle I have and I feel like the bottle that I have costs probably about that maybe a little more but it didn't make sense to buy half like half the amount of soap for just about the same amount of price um yeah it didn't make sense to buy half the amount of soap for just about the same price it just i couldn't reason it with my now adult self so i got this ogx smoothing and co smoothing plus coconut coffee scrub and wash um ooh, the glare all right you can you can kind of see it you can see it in that yeah so i got that um it's sulfate free um i got that because i personally i have a problem with like breakouts on my chest on like my back shoulder back area and like even on my shoulders so a scrub is always good for me personally for my skin so i'm gonna give that a try and i will let you guys know if i see a difference um yeah i also got i, I really love this soap this is the Open Nature Biodegradable Cleaning Agents Concentrated Dishwashing Liquid Soap, free and clear. Um, it was actually, every time I go, like it's on sale. And I think it was like $2.79 or $2.99, something like that. While it looks very gentle, yes. I have no problems with it. Like my dishes are always clean. Um, no one's paying me to say any of these things, by the way. Like these are just things that I buy. So there's no ads here, but if we have a sponsor out there, hit my mom, hit my mom. Okay, all right, I'm back, I'm back. So, <laughs> but um, I really like this soap, like it's gentle. When I wash with it, it doesn't leave my hands like dry. Like, you know the ones like they just dry out your hands and make them ashy. 
like i don't get that with this it's it's a very gentle soap and it doesn't feel super chemically um it really doesn't have much of a smell to it but i have all stainless steel pots um all my pots are stainless steel my um silverware stainless steel i use the oneida um juilliard silverware and that soap does the trick every time i could i'm like i could put those pots through it because i don't ugh, because i don't even have i don't even have a toaster so i toast my bread by like getting the pan i'll put like a just a good little bit of um of olive oil on the pan and just a couple minutes here a couple minutes there and it's toasted it's fine it's great um but it does kind of char the char the bottom of the pan a little bit and it gets brown but i just get that soap some water let it sit in the pan a little bit once i'm done with it and um most of the time i can get it out with the sponge sometimes i gotta get the scrubber but it still comes out it still comes out and it looks sparkling new so if you need it like a gentle soap wow i really just i really just spent a minute talking about some soap but i really like that soap so okay moving on I saw like this buy one get one half off deal on Febreze sprays. I really don't have any air fresheners. I really don't have any air fresheners. Oh, the country just jumps out. So I got the Febreze Air Linen and Sky and the Febreze Air Original with the Gain scent. I Ooh, I love the smell of some gain. I love the smell of some gain. Let me tell you, let me tell you. I love the smell of some gain. So, and I was between getting like the one that I think is, it smells like the Hawaiian scent. But I was like, no, let me just keep it original. And then let me have this fresh one. this like fresh linen and sky one. Um, and fill these out. And since it's like a buy one, get one half off depending on how long they have that deal i might just you know circle back and get another two next month because we're gonna stick to our budget okay okay so next i got my orange juice has been through it on the way home. So next, I got uh, Simply Orange orange juice. <sighs> so I really wanted to get like the one big jug because that's what I got last time, but they literally didn't have any. Like, I think where it would be, there was just like generic, this very generic orange juice and like Sunny D and that's just not what I wanted to buy. So I just got two of these instead. So I guess this is, this is like a in 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 this is an instance where I would have gotten one, but there just wasn't a size that was accommodating to how much I drink it. And I would also like to go on record saying, had had I had orange juice in my refrigerator this morning, I would not have gotten coffee, and then I would not have had an anxiety attack in the store, and I wouldn't have almost felt like breaking down crying in the grocery store. So. I needed this. I needed to get two of this, okay? Okay. For my friends, do not call do not call me a hypocrite for this, okay? Don't you, you keep it to yourself. I got jasmine rice. If you know me, you know I'm not a rice girl. I'm not a rice girl. I grew up I grew up in a very, very Panamanian household where chicken and rice, chicken and rice was your daily dinner. Daily. Daily. Sometimes it switch up, it'd be like liver and mashed potatoes, or maybe it was 
chicken, rice, and beans. Or maybe it was fish and rice. But there was always rice. There was, there was, rice was just always in the picture. And I was tired of looking at that picture. Okay, so um, I'm <laughs> straight far from rice, but jasmine rice? It wasn't jasmine rice. It was not, it was not jasmine rice. I feel like switching it up to jasmine rice, it's not the same. So here we are. We're getting ricey. And we're gonna see, we're gonna see how that turns out. Cause I I'm not sure if I've cooked jasmine rice. I'm not sure. But I I think it's jasmine tea that I like. I can't remember if it's jasmine or lavender. I think it's jasmine tea. It has like this sweet aroma to it that you can kind of taste. I don't know, it's just like this amazing sensory experience. But that's why I should have been looking for jasmine tea. Whatever. Next trip, next trip. I got lentils. I got lentils. Um, lentils were a little loud, but um, I got lentils last shopping trip and cooked them for the first time myself. Like my mom, my my family would cook them. My family would cook them. Would cook lentils. And I never had a problem with it, it was always good. But I never paid attention to how it was cooked. Maybe because it's it's very simple. Like you probably just wash them, like rinse them off, make sure they're not dirty. Um, and then put them on the stove, boil them, add a little salt, and they're fine. That's what I do. But what I did not understand when I did all of this is that lentils, like they, it, it's, it's amazing. Like, it's like they're seasoned while they're in the ground. Like when they're growing, they're like, ooh, minerals, season me, minerals, season me. Ooh, I'm ready, I'm ready. They come from the ground, right? I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, sure, why not? So, I made them, I prepared them, and I put them in my mouth. And I was like, oh, this is amazing, okay? Absolutely amazing. Absolutely loved it. Had to double back and get more because we're sticking with her. Um, also a favorite of mine, Chobani yogurt. I try to stick to the non-fat, the non, yeah, the non-fat um, plain Greek yogurt. Um, I use it for my morning, like, part days. Um, I'm going to do a video on, like, just some of the meals that I prepare. They're very quick and easy, like, out the door friendly. So if you have to, like, just start your day pretty pretty quickly it's it's not a burden to prepare i also got some philadelphia cream cheese Ooh, that glitter is just so good there we go Ooh. so we got some philadelphia cream cheese yes yes um i got the one third less fat one with no preservatives what's the expiration on on this on the date on this since it has no preservatives uh hmm wait no was that it hmm i honestly don't know oh oh there it is november 27th november 27th it's october 16th so that's fine yeah that's fine
I got some 50-50 mix. Um, but I use this for, for all my salads, anything that needs leafy greens. It just comes from here. I just pull it out, rinse it off, and throw it in. Um, so it's half spring mix, half spinach. So that's why I said like it's, it's perfect for like if you want to do something just spinachy or if you want to do a salad, like it's good. Now, last time I went grocery shopping, I got um, like this herb mix. I still have it in my refrigerator. It's like, it's it's okay, but it's, it's almost like it's too herby. Like it's too herby for some meals, especially like my salads. I'm just like, ooh, like, it's it's putting too many flavors into dishes that don't require them so i just needed to scale back to something like this to where i can throw those flavors in as i desire and not like it just be thrown in there automatically so i got bananas because okay so so people, I've, I've like heard this and I've seen this different places. People are just not fond of the whole protein shake with um, bananas and peanut butter. I was one of those people initially, like I'm just not fond specifically of like the peanut butter flavor to things. I like peanut butter, I just don't like peanut butter flavored things. It's it's so hard to explain, but it makes sense to me and that's what matters. So I was one of those people. However, when I really got into the whole gym thing and lifting, doing two days, these save your behind. They save your behind because like, when maybe you're not lifting as much but you still do the protein shakes you know you just like let up a bit or maybe you're not lifting as much um and working your muscles as much as the protein needs you to to like do the whole gain in those muscle areas that you wanted to these bananas save you because like it's all high in fiber and stuff and it keeps you going to the bathroom so that protein and like from the protein powder or your salmon or chicken or your beans whatever you're doing in your weight gain journey if that's the type of journey you're on or your just gains journey in general it's not just it's not just gonna sit on your stomach and make you fat okay these are your friends and that peanut butter is adding protein you can get protein from other things but try that peanut butter is gonna do it every time okay so I'm not here to like talk you into it but if you acquire the taste you're 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 gonna be thankful you're gonna be thankful you did okay so peanut butter banana protein shakes for the win that is what i'm that's what i'm telling you call me miss chiquita okay hmm. hello girls hello girls i love smoked salmon and if you like smoked salmon you understand why i was why i was fighting back tears in the store like you get it you get oh this stuff is just so good it's just so good Okay, so I got, um, I get the Echo Falls brands by Kosher, um, and this is the, not my tummy, not my tummy grumbling, mm -mm, girl, relax, we just got the food. So this is the, this is the smoked Scottish Atlantic salmon that is oak smoked traditional. That's this green one. This is the Scottish one, okay? Oak smoked. This gray one is the smoked Norwegian Atlantic salmon beechwood smoked. So this is Norwegian beechwood. Norwegian beechwood. 
Scottish oak. Okay. Now I've had this one before, the Scottish oak one. That's what I have in my refrigerator now. Loved it. Um, and I figured why not switch it up and see what this one is about. I don't know if I'll even taste the difference, but you know, life short. Why not, you know, change things up a bit, you know? I love Gouda cheese. Uh, I love Gouda cheese. Girl, let me, let me get you right because I wouldn't even have you out here looking like that because you're, y'all are my faves, okay? The twins, the twins, okay? This is Sargento's Natural Gouda Cheese. Um, this is the cheese I use for anything. Grilled cheese. If I want to do cheesy, if I want to do like cheesy grits, that's actually how I got exposed to Gouda cheese is some Gouda grits. And I was like, whoa, this is a game changer. Like it's not too sharp, but it doesn't have that milky taste that I feel like American cheese has because it's nasty. That's, that's just nasty. It's nasty. I said what I said. It's nasty. This is not her, okay? Do not put her next to them, okay? Gouda is just good. It's just good. So, I got a couple of these because I run through them. How? Because one only has 10 slices. I, I, need more than, I need more than 10. So, here we are. So, these are the oats. The, okay, maybe... I don't know if me calling it oats is just country or what. This is granola. Vanilla blueberry granola with flax seeds. It's high in fiber. This is what I put in my parfaits. Um, I don't always get the blueberry, the vanilla blueberry. Uh, there's a few other flavor variations. But this is definitely one of my favorites. Um, this is what I have in my pantry now and i'm gonna put some more in there because <laughs> it's good it's good like literally yogurt these this granola and honey just drizzle the honey over mix it up eat it and you're at the best start to your day take my word for it uh, another cleaning product i got some windex really needed some Windex because I have like a glass shower I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my apartment tour in this vlog I recorded my apartment tour about now like over a month ago just over a month ago like a month and a day but I'm gonna put that in here because I feel like that gives a lot of background to some of this so this is my Windex for my shower um the shower door and my mirror that like if you follow me on instagram um you'll see it a good bit and i put my hands on it a lot as you may see some fingerprints sometimes so <laughs> this is needed and of course for like my um my bathroom mirrors too so <sighs> i got cooked shrimp uh, I get the small, the, this is the 51 to 60 count. I get small shrimp because I need to stop that crunching noise of the, of the bag. But I get the small because for me, I don't like it. I don't like bigger shrimp because it has like this crunch to it. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like it's so much shrimp. It has this crunch to it, and it, 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 I, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that, okay? I don't like it. So, I get the small. That's also the reason why, like, you really won't catch me eating lobster, like, lobster tails, because it, it's so much lobster meat that it has that crunch, and I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't, I will immediately put it down so sorry to waste 60 dollars or however much this whole lobster tail thing was but i'm 
not. I can't. I can't. I just do. So, this is my shrimp that I use in all of my shrimp dishes. And I do it cooked because I just, as a young person who just wasn't always in the kitchen before I had to be, I just, like, I don't trust myself to make sure that the shrimp is all the way cooked if I got raw shrimp. So I get the cooked shrimp just in case, like, if I don't, if I just really don't let this sit long enough, it won't kill me because it's already pre-cooked. Like, I'm, I'm gonna cook it through and through, but I just know I'm cooking it through and through as far as the as far as the pre-cooked shrimp is i don't know as far as the raw shrimp maybe one day i'll play with that but not today girl not today all right we're getting whew, we're getting to the end of this all okay because this is a lot um this is the simply almond unsweetened unsweetened original almond milk i use this in anything that needs milk it could be eggs um protein shakes coffee anything i i'm having a hard time thinking of things that need milk but apparently it's a lot because i run through this stuff like water like water okay i had i had two in my refrigerator and in like two weeks, like, that's about gone. <laughs> that's about gone. Maybe I had one. No, I'm not sure. Mm, I don't know. But I bought two just because I run through it like water. So this is good stuff, especially getting it um, unsweetened because I just feel like, you know, if you're doing it multi-purpose, you never really know where it's going to go. You don't want to be putting vanilla in your egg. Maybe you do. I'm not a vanilla egg type of girl. So I just get the unsweetened. Okay. So um, when I do do coffee, not do do, that was childish. That was, that was childish on my part. Sorry. When I do drink coffee, I like to do that um, unsweetened almond milk and um, some vanilla vanilla creamer i guess i don't know what it is it just comes out of this machine that i go to and i like it <laughs> and i like it um and then i add this cinnamon dulce latte creamer by starbucks and it it just that combination that combination like you don't you really don't even taste the super coffee flavor it's just it's in the background but at the same time I don't like drinking this combination without the coffee it just it brings this warmth to it that my palate just needs so I don't know maybe I'll start doing it with decaf because I feel like I don't always need need caffeinated coffee the caffeine is kind of kicking my butt as you can see um, so this amazing i think i think i saw this i know i saw this creamer another youtuber dana alexia posted it she posted i think it was this one whenever i go and i get this i have in mind whatever it was she bought but i i'm not sure if this is it and i I don't know what video it was that she did it, but um, I think she was she was um, like drawing and um, she was trying to like recreate this chai latte that she gets, which I did start drinking chai lattes and oh my gosh, it's, a, it's amazing. Where has that been all my life? So bless, bless Dana Alexia, okay? Bless her. But yeah, this is the bomb. And if she did plug this in her vlog, shout out to her. This is her. And if this wasn't it, I would like to say that this, this is really good. <laughs> this is really good. 
Okay, so I, I think this is the most that you have probably seen in my hand this entire, um, this entire grocery haul. And that's okay. I am very much, very much committed to Dave's Killer Bread. I don't know why. I do know why I had to look at it because I don't, I don't know the name when I get it. I don't know. I really just know that the wrapping looks like this. Like, you see, this is one variation, right? And then this is another. Are you kind of seeing the scheme here? Like, you can, you can tell when you see the wrapper, like, oh, that's part of that. Okay? So this is Dave's Killer Bread. Um, the reason why I started eating this bread in particular is because it's really high in protein. And when I started doing the whole gains thing, is it two? Last year. Last year was last year. Um, I think I saw this maybe somewhere in a blog or somewhere in a YouTube video. And um, I've really just been using it ever since. And I really like it also because it has these, you can see it, like all these grains and seeds. Not just in the, in the crust of the bread, but like in the bread itself. So I really like that. Um, I think that's just, you know, good for your insides. Um, so this is the 21 whole grain and seeds organic bread. That's this green one. I love it, I swear by it. I use it for everything, sandwiches, everything. Great stuff, great stuff. Then I have the Raisin the Roots organic bread. It's it's basically like raisin, it's raisin bread. It's absolutely raisin bread. Now, usually I would get the raisin bagels. They do this in bagels, but the store that I go to, for some reason, whenever I go, they don't have it in the bagel variation. But I got tired of waiting because I will snack on this stuff. And I have a friend who will laugh because because my friend's like, how are you really just sitting there eating a dry bagel like there's nothing on it but it'll be the raisin the raisin bagel i'm just like it's that good like i just don't need to put anything on it. it's it's that good but they didn't have the bagel so i just got the bread and then i got the booming dairy bagels this here um i just got these because i want some bagels and I really didn't want to get the plain or like the grainy bagel since I have like the the grainy bread. So I said, let me try the Boomin' Berry. I'm not, this is basically by the way, like a, a blueberry bagel. I think it's gonna be pretty good. I may have had it before, but like, oh, it's cranberry, blueberry, blackberry, and acai. Um, 11 grams of protein 13 grams of whole grains this stuff is amazing like these products are amazing so these are my bagels um i'm definitely gonna show you guys how i do up these bagels in another video last but <laughs> ooh, girl last but not least i had i had to reward myself. One thing about this whole adulting thing I've learned, if you don't reward yourself for everything, like reward yourself for not having enough money. Reward yourself for not having too, yeah. Reward yourself for not having enough money. Reward yourself for having too much money, for hitting a goal, for working toward a goal. Maybe you didn't hit it, but you tried. Reward yourself for a bad day. Reward yourself for a good day. Like, like just, just make sure that you're your own cheerleader because like we all need that. You know, in, in school, like elementary school, mi middle school, high school, whatever, just in adolescence, across the board like you had those adults who always tell you good job good job you're doing great great effort whatever as an adult you really don't have it that's just that's just the truth it comes sometimes and when it does it feels really good but when you don't you kind of gotta be that for yourself or else like you might lose it so this this is my 
<laughs> Good job, girl. Mm. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. So, I really wish this glare would just not conspire against her, but... Ooh, I love it when it gets dark against, like a dark background. Anyways, this is the Gens Gensicu. JNSQ Rose Crew. Because we're not about to play with me. That's what we're not about to do. We're not about to. If you please comment some type of some type of pronunciation. If you know it, please drop it in the comments because I don't know child. I don't know. But look, look at this. This is a rose. This is a wine. Um, the description on this, this little label here, it says balanced, refreshing, and fabulous. This rose is California born with a French accent. Inside every collectible bottle, you'll find attitude, style, and a certain je ne sais quoi that's hard to define and impossible to resist. Kind of like you, J-N-S-Q. Oh, je ne sais quoi, that's what that is. I wanna, I wanna cry right now because wow, I really needed to hear that. Wow. Okay. We're not we're not gonna do this. We're not gonna do this. We're not gonna do this. Okay, so yeah. Wow. I'm glad I didn't read that in the store would have torn me up. But that's Jenna Sequa. So since my birthday's in a month, I really just wanted to, you know, say good job. You've, you've been doing what you need to be doing and you know, start celebrating a little early, celebrating myself, kind of really building the habit. I think I want to do a wine a week, a wine a week, like just buy one, really start up a little, a cute little, little wine area somewhere in here. <laughs> so this is, this is my, this is my good job. So that is, that is my grocery haul. I'm going to get all of these groceries situated in place, put up, and then we're on to the next activity for today. See you guys.